I'm Jake McAlpine with Energy Conservatory, and we're here in St. Paul, Minnesota, working on a house that's from the 1950s with the goal of making a better built environment and saving energy in this home. We're going to show you how to diagnose a building, how to take the results you get from those diagnostic tests and create a scope of work that's appropriate for the house, how to do some of those remediation measures in the home, and then we'll test out at the end and be able to demonstrate that we've actually got the results that we wanted. In order to diagnose a house, first we'll do a walk around of the property. We'll use an infrared camera by itself and with a blower door. We'll do a blower door test and zone pressure diagnostics. We'll use a fog puffer. We'll do a visual investigation of the attic and we'll assess the ductwork and the insulation levels. And finally, we'll test the HVAC system. For this project, we've decided to make some adjustments to the HVAC system and to change the filter size. Up in the attic, we're going to go up and seal the big leaks like those above the built-in cabinet and around the chimney. Because these offer the biggest reduction, people will typically stop there. But in addition, we're going to seal up some smaller leaks that we found in the attic and down in the basement. We're going to correct some venting issues with the ductwork for the bath fan and the kitchen range hood. As far as insulation, we'll be adding blown cellulose up to a level of R60. We tested out looking at our air sealing work. We got over a 55% reduction. You guys' attention to detail is phenomenal and it really shows in the results. So thanks a lot. Thank you.